Hi there, welcome back to It's Only Paper, I'm Lisa and if you look at my desk now you know this only means one thing, we're about to make a new journal. I am super excited, this one is going to be a gift for a friend, I'll tell you more about it in a bit. Um, I will be making it completely from start to finish and all ready for that person to add their own photos and their own stories so we'll be adding all the little tucks, the flips the pockets all that kind of thing we'll be doing it all today all the trimmings and everything i can't wait to get started i picked this little book up this um little golden book second hand from ebay it was two pounds fifty something including delivery i have got all my bits and pieces i've got the fabric for the spine ribbon for the spine i've got the tape to make it with i've sorted my papers I've got my binding kit and I've bought some new wax threads as well. So I am very, very excited to get started. I'm going to move this little lot out the way and we're going to jump straight in. Let's grab my toolkit. Have you made any journals recently? Let me know if you have. Um, right, you've probably seen me make these before these books are perfect for this oops there we go just go careful because they have got very chunky staples inside let's remove those staples these staples are really big and really sharp so do go careful it's going to tidy up the spine I am going to be putting fabric over that so I'm not going to be precious about that at all and the great thing if you haven't seen one of these videos before the pages just open out so so well perfect for journaling I'm going to be making two signatures First of all though, I want to work on the spine. I've got the two pieces of cover. I'm going to lay them down and make my chunky spine. I really like this corrugated type of cardboard. You can use like hardboard as well. This stuff's really good. Or even something like um, packaging from Amazon or like cereal packaging and you want it to be the exact same height and then just decide on your width how wide you want it mine are never wide enough no matter how wide i end up making them they're never quite wide enough this however because it's for somebody that isn't creative that doesn't craft i don't have to worry about um loads of flips and loads of pockets it's only going to have in it what i create nothing extra so it's not like somebody like me that ends up being really creative and making loads and loads of bits and pieces that's not going to happen and i am just going to add two signatures to it you want to add a little bit of a gap between the spine and the cover like that just so that it can easily open and close none of this has to be perfect mine's not even straight there it's not the end of the world and loads of this will be covered up there we go the reason i also like this rather than the hardboard or the, the grey board it's really easy to put your needle through it still feels really sturdy but um, I just really like it it just works really well for me there I like that I'm happy with that we are now going to add our fabric I thought the colours went really well I really like that I love this fabric and it's for a child so or for like a child memories so I'm just going to do exactly the same with the fabric. I want this to be slightly larger though so that I can tuck it under. So this is for a very good friend of mine and they've just adopted. I'm so excited for them. 
and it's going very well and I've had lots of lovely stories and we're just so happy for them, really happy. Um, it's been so nice following their stories and their excitement um, throughout it all and um, this little one couldn't have nicer, more loving parents so I am absolutely thrilled for all three of them and it's just going so well. So I'm just so happy. Um, that is good. I'm happy with that. I've got the red tape, which I am loving. I've now got this on my website as well, by the way. It's really, really tough tape. So um, if you're into making journals, I would really recommend this. Uh, let's get some better scissors. Let's see if these work. Let's pop that on there. So yeah, this tape was recommended to me and um, I really recommend it. It's just always nice when you hear of a happy ending, isn't it? Because obviously all of them have had a tough time, especially obviously the little one. And um, you just hope now that that's it, that all of them have got their happy ending. So um, I just wanted to make a very special journal for the start of their story and for them to be able to document their little adventures. Sticking it down like that and then we are going to stick it on the inside and I'm doing exactly the same at the top here, just sticking it all down so it's nice and tidy and secure. Let me know if you love making this type of journal as well. The little golden books are perfect, but um, I'd love to know if you found another type of journal to make them as well. That's turning out really nice. I'm so happy with that. I'm also now going to add the ribbon. The ribbon just tidies it up. I have frayed the edges before. I've added pom-poms, I've added lace, I've added paper and all sorts. It's just really fun to mix things up. Let's take off those frayed edges. This is a ribbon that I've had for a very long time. I do actually quite like that one, but I think I'm gonna go with this one, I think this one will work well those colors really go well don't they i like that and as you can see by just sticking it over it just makes it very neat and tidy and i'm going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to add the tape top to bottom and then add my ribbon honestly this tape is a game changer it's really good. I think it was my friend Jackie that recommended this to me when we were at the NEC. Um, but then a couple of the other girls then said how good it was as well. So let's add that. Look how neat that is. That looks so much better. Those colours are perfect, aren't they? Really, really happy with those. And then we will do exactly the same on the other side. I am so happy. Look at the title of the book as well, A Roaring Adventure. This is perfect. They are a Disney family. The child was already into Disney, loves Toy Story, and they've got their first Disney trip planned for next year. So um, this is just perfect. I'm really, really happy with this. I the red tape out and I am just going to secure these ends of the ribbon over. And then we're going to add some paper, some cardstock over the top just to make it nice and neat and tidy. There we go. We have got the carcass of our journal. This is going to look so cute. Right, next we're going to add some cardstock in the middle. I'm just adding double-sided sticky tape. I've added a lot. <laughs> but I want it to stick down really, really well. 
and um, sometimes when I've done this before I get like all the bumpy bits so um, I'm adding lots this time I'm just folding in I've still got some bumpy bits there we go and now I can add pop my paper creaser on there just to help crease that spine and don't worry too much because this will have your signatures on I'm just going to pop some tape under there so um, don't worry too much if this bit isn't perfect because your signatures will be sewn in here and will cover a lot of this up move on to our signatures I am going to be using these signature one signature two but I also want to add a few other papers as well so I've been collecting some Disney some others and I've also got this one whoops let's move that camera strap I've also got this one here some simple stories the colours will be perfect. Isn't this fun? I love this summer days. I think this will be absolutely perfect as well. Fold this and I'm going to make this one slightly smaller. And then the other page we can add in our other signature. And that one will be a smaller one. So we want to try and vary them a bit. So now this page, I've cut it down. It can sit on here. I don't want the journal to read as a book. I just want the, to be cute pictures. And this now folds out. I'm very happy with my signatures. Um, I haven't overcomplicated them, I've kept them quite simple. So now I'm just going to cut a template of the actual space of the spine. There we go. So that bit fits on the spine nicely and you've seen me do this before. Fold it over and then in the centre and to the centre again and we're going to fold it over long ways and the centre again and the centre again and this tells us exactly where our signatures are going to be. We're going to have two signatures. Clip this in place so it doesn't move. And I am going to mark off my signatures. Key hole, go really careful with this and poke that through. If you are a younger person, please make sure you have your responsible grown up with you to give you a hand because this is very dangerous and we do not want any injuries. Crafting is for fun, not for pain. <laughs> that reminds me, um, what's been your worst crafting injury, would you say? I think mine has got to be something to do with a craft knife or scissors or something. I have had quite a few injuries. I did, I was using my glue gun on the floor once in the summer. I had a short skirt on and I caught the hot glue on the inner thigh, on my inner thigh. It hurt so much. And I ended up with a blister. That was a very painful one. I say, through all the injuries, I think some of the times, not even paper cuts, but cardboard cuts, can be the worst ones. They are so painful and they can be really deep as well. Right, next up, we want to get our signatures in. We are going to add some clips just to hold it all in place. This is something I struggle with 
every time I make a journal that the papers move. So let's try really hard this time. The problem are, is the ones that are smaller, like this one. So we are going to try and add some washi tape and see if that helps. They always seem to shift and then I end up sometimes with paper on the wonk. Okay. I've got a little one in there, but that seems to be fine. So now I am going to line this up. And poke the holes all the way through. And hopefully that will work well this time. Okay, that looks good. It's through this the spine. I'm now going to choose what colour wax thread I want. Where are my wax threads? Let's have a look what colour will go well. The red would go quite nicely. The green. Oh, I like that one. Let's go with that one. A nice yellowy orange. And you need about two and a half times the size. So one, two, and a bit. And that way I always have plenty. I'll do exactly the same for the next one. One, two, and a bit. Oh, I will link these below, by the way. They were $9.99 for all of these from Amazon. I'll pop them on my in my Amazon storefront and link them for you. I'll link the tool binding kit as well, the book binding kit. It came with so many things. I've got all these needles. It came with my paper kit piercer, it came with my pokey tool, it came with some of, I think about three of these, the wax threads, it came with loads of bits and pieces and that was, I think I bought it for about seven pounds but I think they're about eight or nine pounds now but that's also in my Amazon storefront so I will link that below for you as well. Right, signature number one, that's already fallen out, that is not a good start, that is not good washi tape. Right, let's, where do we want to, I want to do my sewing, in, not my sewing, my tying inside. So let's start in the middle. That's already not central. <laughs> That's a great start, right, there we go. Here we go, let's see if I can sew this one in straight. Make sure you've got plenty there to tie in. So you can tie it in a knot afterwards. signature is done. Like I said, we're keeping this one quite basic. I'm really happy with that. So let's move on to signature number two. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Second signature is in and I am going to trim those. I'm going to keep them a little bit longer. I think they look quite nice. I'm really pleased. I think this might be the neatest one that I've made to date. I'm really, really happy with that. I am going to add some more bits and pieces. I would also like to 
add something here and I want to add some fabric at the side to tie the book together. I did really like this ribbon and the colours go so perfectly. So I am going to add this just to tidy up that edge there. I think that will look really nice. I love the bit there that reads this little golden book belongs to because I would like them to be able to fill that out. I think that's a really nice little touch. Aid's watching the FA Cup final whilst I make this. And I think we're going to have fish tacos for tea tonight. We've been out on a really long walk today. We went out for six miles, so that will be a nice end to the day. And we want to watch a movie as well. We haven't decided what, what movie yet. We might even go out for another walk tonight, maybe a couple more miles. Doesn't that make a difference? That really does. And let's do exactly the same on this side. I love that. I think that looks so nice. My ties at the side, I am going to cut two lengths of this fabric and I will show you why this is so important in just a moment. I love these colours, they look so nice. This was just an eBay buy ages ago. I've got a lovely basket of fabric now. This is why the fabric is so important. This is my journal with the fabric tie, holds it nicely together. This is the one without. I really need to add a tie to this because this journal has got completely out of hand as you can see. Toy Story wouldn't be Toy Story without cute clouds so I am going to add some of this just on the inside here. I'm going to cut equal like little widths out. I'm going to stick those down but first of all we are going to place the ribbon there so that we can tie the journal together so that especially for when it starts to get really bulky that will be really really handy so first of all I want to put my fabric down like that and then I am going to add it to the cardstock there we go and I've now added the ties inside so that as the journal starts to bulk out it can be neatly tied in. I just think it looks really nice with the ribbon tie and it matches really well with the spine. I might just trim it down a little bit. Doesn't that look cute? I love that. I'm going to work on some of the insides of the pages. I would like to put something along there. I'm thinking maybe I might cut this out um, and just have a little look and see what I've got. And I am going to pop this on here and then I will find something to, I guess I could even leave that there. That is quite pretty. The colours go well so I might see. I realise I have got a whole sheet of these Simple Stories Summer Day stickers. These will be fab. I didn't realise that. So... Actually, I love that idea. Let's cut that off there. That is perfect. And then we can add the rest of the sun somewhere else. I also wanted to add the Hello tab, um, Enjoy tab at the top. Look how cute. That is so sweet. I love that. And I also, so we've got best day ever. Let's add smile at the top. That is so cute. And then I want to add something down the side there. Using some of my Say Cheese collection as well. 
this will go perfectly oh I love this love it that is so cute and we've got you are my sunshine I've got something there though that I just want to cover up perfect I really like to add a little pocket here so I'm going to just oh I want some thinner tape add the tape on three sides and then this way um, other bits and pieces can be added photos or anything like that be aware that I am making this for a family that aren't creative at all so it's very important to me that um, we make it very straightforward so that it's easy to fill out and very obvious with what we need to do in it. For example, this little card here, I'm going to put memories up above. Actually, let's pop it on the side there. So hopefully that's then obvious that you write your memories in there. I do want to add some bits and pieces in the pocket just again so it's obvious that it's a pocket and you put things in there because again if you've never seen or made one of these before it's not going to be obvious that you've got flips and tucks and pockets and all sorts and some bits and pieces from the doodlebug designs collection made with love and we've got these amazing tags which i am going to cut out i'm not going to add holes or anything in the top because we don't need them and look we go to get them like milk and cookies that is so cute and I'm going to cut these out and pop them in the pocket. That is so cute. And then I'm going to add a glassine bag this side as well as a little pocket. Like that. So the following day, and I am now going to work on adding some pockets. I've got different types. I've got some pre-made pockets. I've got a little mini envelope. I've got a envelope and glassing envelope that have been handmade. And I've also got a tiny little mini tag. Um, I call them tag envelopes because I've got tags that just fit in perfectly. Now I want to add these, but I also want to make the inserts to go inside them so that it's very self-explanatory. You pull out, you can add a story and you can add a photo. So um, that's what I am going to be working on next. I want to go through the book and, oh, I've just dropped some stickers, work out where these will go so like here for example that's a really good space because I'm not going to cover up the um, journaling that or the writing in the book that can go there I think that will be a really good spot because I don't want to cover up all of the wording so let's pop that on the edge like that let's add some tape along there and I'm going to put some washi tape um, I'm also thinking because we've got some tiny little pops of red so I'm going to find some red washi tape that will be perfect for there, there go. perfect I like that a lot and I'm going to do the same let's add some red on this side as well and I've already decided what I'm doing with the top of the tag um, I have got my oh, this I love this washi tape but it tears so badly drives me mad I have to be so careful with it um, I've got my heat gun on it's already torn again let's try again that's better there let's take this out I'm going to stick some notepaper on here as well again I want to just make it very self-explanatory what you do with everything these little notes that would actually be really perfect I like that um, I don't want to have to write instructions so by just adding some notepaper here and there 
it would hopefully then let's stick that on straight make sense to anyone that not only doesn't scrapbook or create but also may have never even seen something like this before there we go I am going to add some hot glue there and then I'm going to pop on this little bow I don't know if you can see it's got little Mickey heads isn't that cute let's add some blue ink around the outside and we have got a really cute little tag envelope there I might even add something under there oh I know what I've got let's add some stickers there Cool, that's the first one done. Okay, I'm going to stick this envelope here on here to break that up a little bit and I'm going to use this as my little pulley out card. Okay, um, I love the sun. I'm not fussed with that. I don't dislike it, but I don't feel it's overly relevant to um, this journal. So we are going to do our own thing on here. There we go, I've added a little tab top there using my punch and a staple. I think that's super cute. I'm gonna pop that in the envelope so that can be pulled out. And I've added a big smile sticker and I may well add some Mickey to that as well. Let's pop in the tape to secure that in like that. And I think we need some fun washi tape on there as well because that will really add to this page here. And I know the child loves Mickey Mouse. So let's add a little bit of Mickey. How about that? There we go. We've added a little Mickey pocket. Um, I would like to add something on here as well. Oh, I'll tell you what I have got. I've got some stickers. Let's pop that on there. Maybe layer up the stickers. Memories. I did everything I want to to the journal. I now want to add um, some little tap tops. I've again used the punch here and I'm just going to add a few I just like things that poke over the top I think it looks really cute um, I've just put my staple away I just realized and I'm also going to be adding fabric as well so we get lots and lots of bits and pieces um, I'm varying the designs I'm also going to have them on the sides and then we'll move on to the pom-pom trims that's it, I have finished this journal. I've added on some beads and I had a little Mickey there. Popped on a little bow just to add a bit of colour. I'm loving the fabric on the spine that matches with the fabric on the tie on the side. And I've added um, lots and lots of pom-poms on the side and the tab tops there. I love this little journal so much. I think it makes such a little a special gift. I also decided to include a few prompts as well throughout the journal. Um, so like here we've got the story and I've done it and a few other bits and pieces as well. So on this one, when this pulls out, I thought this might be handy for somebody that doesn't journal. I've just realised I've stapled in the tag. Oh dear. If you're giving something as a gift, check it through first. I'd stapled it in. Um, that tag now pulls out, thankfully. And I've got, I woke up like this. And then you can obviously add some journaling or a photo. Um, we've got this little flip here. Best day ever. 
I've added a little Mickey Mouse card in here and favourite drink. It's a little drink washi tape on the bottom. Oh boy, good times. And we've got three little tags and on the back of them there's some really cute bits and pieces. I've added a dinosaur paper clip to this. I think I might need to staple that in. I've got hello friend and note. I've got memories. Let's chill out. Need to add a bit more glue on that one. Beautiful day. We've got big smiles and the little pulley out thing. More memories. Two more tags. We've got good friends on that one there. And this one opens out the whole gang. I thought this would be really nice for a family page spread and I've put family time on there. We've got here, hello I am, this is special. I love the do not forget. There we go, baking memories quiet moment or favourite quiet moment. We've got he said so a conversation can be added here. Summer bucket list. Another little journal spot there. So like I said I've made this in mind for somebody that isn't a scrapbooker or a journaler but can just easily, I've got currently watching and favourite songs, easily follow something like this and fill it out very easily. And that's it! I am really happy with this. I hope they like it. I hope it'll be something that they can all fill in together and have a lot of fun with. I hope you've enjoyed watching this journal come together. I've had so much fun making it and I can't wait to send it on to its new owners. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.